how's it going? I thought I would do a little bit of a Christmas tag. Of course, you'll see this cycling all over YouTube. I kind of did something similar to this last year. And so I'm hoping I won't need to repeat myself so much. But of course, a lot of these questions are the same. It, no matter where you find these questions, there's a lot of different questions, but there's a lot of the same questions. So let's just hop on in. The first question is, what is your favorite Christmas film? I have many favorites, and so it's hard to just pick one. I guess if I would just pick one, it'd be Elf, because we watch it all the time during this Christmas season, and it's so hilarious. It's kid-friendly, which is something I like as well, and I just think it's perfect. It's just like that perfect Christmas film. Um, the other ones that I like, A Christmas Story and National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, those are hilarious, and I could watch those all the time, too. I just, um, I just like Elf. Elf, I don't know, there's just something about Elf that I really like, and so uh, I guess I'll pick that as my top favorite, but really, it's like the three of them together are my favorites. Number two, have you ever had a white Christmas? Yes, I have. I have had a white Christmas uh, two or three times in my life. Maybe more. But yes, I have. Where do you usually spend your holiday? Pretty much at home. Sometimes, well, especially since moving here to Texas, uh, we will do it at home and then for dinner we'll either go to a friend's house or we'll have friends come over to our house and we'll just have like a nice little dinner. Or sometimes we'll do that on Christmas Eve instead. It just kind of depends. It, we don't really have a set in stone plan. Back in Arizona, when we lived closer to family, we would go to family and we would hang out with them. And um, But it's, it's nice having like our own little set of friends that feel like family. What is your favorite Christmas song? I really like Away in a Manger and I love the second two verses. I always end up crying whenever we sing those like in church or wherever. And I like Angels We Have Heard on High during the the chorus, it sounds like angels singing. When you have all of the harmony going on, oh man, it sounds really, really good. And then, I cannot remember the name of the other one. What is it? What is that song? Oh my god, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. The Father, the Prince of Peace. Ah, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. I hear the song, I don't remember the... I don't remember the title. Like, it's, like, I, it's happening. I'm going to find it, and then I'm going to, I'll put it right here. The next question is, do you open any presents on Christmas Eve? Yes, we open one present. Um, tradition has had it that I normally will buy the kids, like, pajamas. And I'll have, like, a theme for the pajamas. Like, last year was plaid. Go figure, right? Those know me well. I'm sure that's no surprise to you guys that I picked plaid as the theme for our pajamas. I don't know what the theme's going to be this year yet. Next question, can you name all of Santa's reindeer? Yes. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen. But do you recall the most famous reindeer of all? Rudolph. So, um, and it's only because of that song, really, that I know them. What holiday traditions are you looking forward to most this year? Eating a lot of candy and a lot of really good food. That's the tradition that I'm looking forward to. And sleeping sleeping. I love sleeping. You know, really hanging out with people that you love. When you hang out with people that you love and you're eating a lot of good food, it's just like there's so much greatness that goes on. So you, your heart's being full, you know, being filled with the people that you love and your stomach's being filled with yummy food. And it's just that happy energy in the air. So it's like all around this great whole body feeling. Next question, is your Christmas tree real or fake? It's fake. One of these days or years, we'll have to get a real one. Just never have. There's no real reason why. I grew up with fake trees. And so to me, not having a real tree isn't weird. It's just how it is. Be honest, do you like giving gifts or receiving gifts better? Ah, uh, okay, okay. Being a mom, I love giving gifts to my kids, knowing that they're gonna love the gift. Like, there is something that just fills my soul. I remember my dad saying that, and my dad used to say this. I remember being like really young and noticing that Santa doesn't get him gifts, right? And he would get like one gift, you know? And I remember saying, aren't you sad that you don't get any gifts? And he goes, no, I really love watching you guys open your gifts. That makes me really happy, and that means more to me than getting a gift. And I remember thinking, 
Um, that's terrible. It's terrible that you just have to resort to liking watching us open our gifts because you aren't getting any gifts. <laughs> <laughs> and I found growing up that I love watching my kids open Christmas gifts. That's the honest truth. I am technically in life. I'm not a. I'm not one who cares for gifts, nor cares to give gifts. Like when you look at the love languages, you know the five love languages. It is quality time, personal touch, words of affirmation, service, and gift giving. Gift giving falls like dead last. I show my love and my care for people not through gifts, and so I don't expect gifts in return. For gifts, like for my friends, I'll like take them out to dinner or I'll give them a gift card or something like that because I'm just not, I just am not equipped with the great gift chip that many of my friends have. Next question, what is the best Christmas gift you've ever received? I don't really have like a best Christmas gift or, that I can think of off the top of my head. It sounds kind of bad, like like I don't appreciate gifts that are given to me and that sounds really bad. Does it sound that way? That's not how I, that's not what I mean. I don't mean that like I don't appreciate gifts that are given to me or anything like that. I appreciate that my husband will notice when I'm in need of something. Last year I needed a new laptop. My laptop was pretty bad and so he went and got me a new laptop. Things like that, like the consideration behind the gift I think means more to me than the gift itself. So. I have to say that that I'm grateful each year it seems my husband will see something that I am in need of or that I've been wanting for a while and then he'll get it for me for Christmas and I don't expect it because again gifts like don't fall on my radar and I don't think that I need to be having gifts and stuff like that and Christmas for me is like all about the kids and all about having a good time and so I, I don't think so much about me on Christmas so I, I appreciate that I, I have to say that what would be your dream place to visit for the holiday season I don't have a dream place because you would think like a dream place would be where it's like beautiful with blankets of white snow everywhere but that's too cold and I the older I get the more I can't stand the cold well it's, it's funny because the older I get the more active I get and when it's freaking cold outside it's hard to be comfortable so I don't go out so I guess I would like to be someplace where it's pretty and it's a decent weather are you a pro present rapper or do you fail miserably well that depends do I have the time to be OCD because I will I will be completely strict on how I do these presents and I will make them flawless or do I not have that kind of time and then in that regard because I'm a procrastinator I usually don't have the time I then just kind of like fold it up and just throw tape all over the place I fall in the middle I can be either or most memorable holiday moment I think I mentioned this last year in my video my most fav you know memorable holiday moment was when we my um, family and I, we helped a family who had just moved into the area who had like nothing, like not even furniture. Um, so Santa coming by was not gonna happen that year. And this um, man with his three kids, and I guess like he like just left his wife or a divorce just happened or something like that. And they pretty much just packed up their car and moved. And um, we decided to kind of play Secret Santa, my family, um, my, my husband's family actually, and we like filled up this huge box full of gifts and we left it on their door and uh, did the ding dong ditch and um, was able to get presents for the kids and then we were able to find ways to get furniture for this, for this father um, and that like for me that is how I want to spend every Christmas I I wish I had the funds that I could do that where I could provide a really good Christmas for a family in need I would rather do that than ever ever receive gifts so I guess in a sense I like more to give gifts <laughs> than I am to receive gifts I just like to make people happy what made you realize the truth about Santa um the truth about Santa. What truth are you talking about? I am number five of seven kids and um, the two siblings directly above me are my brothers and I, I found out, I, I probably found out later than you would think one would 
uh, with brothers that teased me to tears and all that stuff. If you hear yelling and or whatever in the background, <laughs> my my son has has his friend over and they're playing and the friend just said, I killed them. Great. If that ends up on camera. <clears throat> This is so bad. They're sitting there like going, I'm dying, I'm dying, help me. They're playing, um, oh, is it Castle Crashers or something like that? And so so they're, you know, they work together as a team and it's it's just sounding really bad. Um So I don't really know what exactly had me realize the truth. I just remember being on the bus with my brother and we were talking about Santa and and I remember saying like, yeah, I know Santa's, Santa's my parents. Kind of a thing. And I think I was like nine at the time or something, and I was trying to act cool like I was so adult now, now that I, I knew the truth. Do you make New Year's resolutions and do you stick with them? If you've been following my channel for a while, um, or if you've been following it from the beginning, whether I do New Year's resolutions or not really just depends on how I feel. Um, like in December, I will do this like reflection. Um, do I need to make changes in my life? What am I. Um, doing wrong, you know, or what could I improve on, and then that will become my New Year's resolution. Um, and then there are times where I just decide to make a change right here and right now, and it doesn't matter if it's in January or in July. This year, or the 2017 coming in, I don't think I'm going to make any New Year's resolutions. I'm just going to let life happen. I don't feel like there's anything that I need to do New Year's resolution wise. I'm not, that does not mean that I think that I am like perfect. Don't think so. I just, uh, just don't feel like I need to do anything just yet. Okay, and then the last question is, what makes the holiday special for you? And I pretty much already touched on that. Um, just being with people that love you as you are. Um, people who you can call family, even if they're not by blood. The people in my life are what really makes the holidays for me. And I'm always so grateful for the people in my life, but it, these holiday times have me thinking about how much I appreciate them. And, you know, we go through life and we're in such a rush, and so I'm grateful for the holidays to be reminded of the things that we're blessed with. And I feel like I've got a good, a good set of people around me and I'm grateful for each and every one of them. And I'm grateful for you as well. You guys are one of them. And so I, yeah, that's the one thing I like about the holidays. So that is it. That's the Christmas tag. If you want to do this, go ahead. I will list the questions down below. Let me know that you have done them so that I can hop on over to your channel and watch. Or if you do a blog, well, I got these off of a blog then I would love for you to link it so I can read them there. And yeah, I hope you guys are doing well, and I'll catch you on the flip. Bye.